fuck this doorman is? Never seen him before. No, man, I've never seen that guy. You can go up. Hey, Johnny. Hi. It's a new girl, huh? Mm-hmm. You better get up there quick. Yeah. Right. Glad you can make it. Did I say you can fucking sit down? John? Have a seat? So, what do you think? What do I think about what? Those hoochie chicks that just left. Ah, oh, Dominic, damn, bro. Sure know how to Shut pick them. Shut the fuck up. Wasn't really paying attention, Dominic, but uh, I'm sure they're the cream of the crop. <sighs> it doesn't feel like you're paying attention to a lot anymore, Johnny boy. I don't know. Pretty attentive, but uh, I mean, if you want our jobs to be uh, scouting for your next underground porn star, I'm sure we could work something out. And what is your job? You see, I I'm glad you brought up your job. I like to think of what we do here as a... Uh as a small independent business. And what I do here is hire independent contractors. For a while, this little thing we got going, it's been going well. Contractors, you, Douglas, you've been making money, I've been making money. Everything is where it needs to be in its right place. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's it's been good. Well then, that just leaves me one question. How come you didn't tell me you're going back to school? You know, Dominic, I, uh... Now, don't get me wrong. I really admire your initiative in bettering yourself. But it does bring into play some issues of trust and loyalty. For example... You two have been short in your collections, which, as of now, means you're in my pocket. Dominic is not, not because he's going back to school or anything. You know, I think Johnny would agree with me in advising you to think before you speak. I really didn't understand, John, what was going on. I didn't think you're going soft on me. Not after everything you've done for me. I uh, apologize for the interruption. Who's that? Oh, that? Uh, that was my, uh, dentist. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's just a very unfortunate situation. That's the truck driver from last week who turned himself in. We, uh, cut up to him when he's out on bail. We, uh, can't afford a trial. On account of a, uh, miscommunication issue. A shame it had to come to this. I hear he's back in school trying to better himself. Back in school? Oh, yeah. He lives up in Seattle, and apparently he rolled himself into a little community college and needs some extra money. So, uh, he drives trucks on the weekends. 
But anyway, back to what I was saying. John, you've always been reliable. You and that fucking idiot dog. But you lied to me. You made me second guess myself when it comes to you. But now I know what's going on. So here's what I'm going to do for you. You and Dougie missed your last collections. That cost me time and money. Gone soft, in school, whatever. So from now on, to make up for lost money, the truck from last week, the house you missed today, I'm going to start taking 10% off of your end. Just until we get these last few collections paid off. Think of it as interest. Now, as far as going to school, you can keep going. But you will take out a loan from this little bank I've been using. And uh, I will get a uh, 5% kickback every term you're enrolled. 5%? Think of it as a reassurance plan. Back to the natural order of things. I don't go fucking soft. I don't go weak. You'll get your fucking money. I never doubted you would, Johnny boy. I understand the urge to go back to school. All this economic scare in the news, wanting more. I know, believe me. But... Just remember, though, what we do here is recession-proof. There will always be money. Keep an eye on them.